Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how to create this fun Bitmoji pointers. Who doesn't like Bitmojis? I teach higher education and my kids enjoy these Bitmoji pointers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first step to create your Bitmoji pointers is to go to your Chrome browser, click on your Bitmoji extension and save any Bitmoji you like. I'm gonna go ahead and type in point so I can get something close to a mouse. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. I'm simply gonna right click, save as image. I'm gonna save it on my desktop as cursor one and i'm going to go ahead and save it once that's done let me go ahead and see if it's been saved on the desktop so here is my file on the desktop once i save it the next step is to remove the background so i'm going to remove dot bg i will go ahead and upload this file there you go open and i'm going to go ahead and download it without the background so once that has been downloaded, go ahead and see where your file is. So my files usually download to the downloads. So here I have it. I'm going to cut this and paste it on my desktop. So that way it's easy for me to access. So now you have a PNG file. So the next step is to change the PNG file to a cursor file to do that. You will simply go to a website that changes your PNG to your cursor file. I'll have all these links in the description box below, so you just have to click on it and change it. So now I'm gonna go ahead, choose the file that I wanna change. Keep in mind you're changing the PNG file that does not have a background. So my PNG file that does not have a background has an extension that says remove BG. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then I'm gonna click convert. And once the conversion is done, it's gonna ask me to download. This is absolutely free site. You don't have to log in or sign in. I'm simply gonna go ahead and download that file. So my files usually download in my download folder. So right here I have my file and you can tell that this is a cursor extension by simply right clicking and looking at the properties and you know it has the .cur extension. So once this is done, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and copy this file. So I'm simply gonna go ahead and copy this file. You will go to your C drive, your windows, you click on your cursor folder and you will simply paste this. It's gonna ask you for admin rights. You click continue. Keep in mind this is only available for Windows users. And once that is done, what you need to do is you need to go ahead, type mouse settings, and then click on additional mouse options. And then you have this new mouse option window popping up. You click on your pointers. You click on browse. For now, I'm gonna disable my Bitmoji so you can see a new Bitmoji coming up. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and disable my Bitmoji. As you see, my Bitmoji has been disabled. Now I'm trying to go ahead and find the Bitmoji that I have just created. So here it is with my red shirt. I'm gonna use this as my mouse. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna open. You can actually go ahead and name it. I will name it, I will save it as red Bitmoji. and I'll click apply. As soon as I click apply, here I have my Bitmoji as my mouse pointer. If you are patient enough, you can actually go ahead and customize each and every one of them, but I just left it to this point. I have to mention that it will be slightly different and it will take you some time to get used to the new mouse, but you will get there. I really enjoyed this feature. My higher education students absolutely love and it's fun when you are presenting.
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be some educator who might really need this Bitmoji pointer. And stay tuned for the next video because I will be showing you how to use a Bitmoji Chrome extension and customize your Bitmojis just for your Chrome browser. And again, happy teaching!